Hi friends, welcome to another haul. Um, got a couple here. Uh, I, I was supposed to make a video a week ago um, when I first picked up one of these laybys, but um, my partner and um, I aren't that great on a computer, and she got in there and um, mucked around with it, and um, I'm having trouble with it, so. You're just uploading videos I've, I've done and she's done something to my file and I'm, I'm a little bit lost so hopefully this will go up but that's why I, um, I've been having a bit of trouble and um, haven't replied to anyone And but I will be um, back into it after this hopefully so anyhow it's on with the haul. Sorry guys, my, my Lego sign was falling over. Where to start? Okay, so first lots, um, actually, I just picked this up the other day. Um, 60156, um, I'm not sure of the name of it. Um, it's the smallest jungle set. I just got it to, um, yeah, I was interested in having a look at the machete and the spider. And yeah, it was my, um, my main reason for the purchase. Was just to have a, have, have a play with that. So that wasn't in lay-by. And I got that at 20% off, so normally $10 for this. Um, I think I paid 8 bucks. Which isn't bad, stuff on sale straight away. You know, new items. I finally paid off a lay by, it went over a, a few weeks. Um, and I was very thankful that they would do that for me. Um, I got Mr. Freeze's Ice Attacks at 70901. Uh, I had to have the Mr. Freeze. As well as uh, this part to make up the, the rest of the other bits. Uh, very cool. Yeah, I just, I just loved uh, the look of that Mr. Freeze. He's, uh, he's a great little build in, in his power suit. And um, yeah, very cool. Still haven't seen the movie. It's out on DVD. So um, I must get to it. Uh, play... Uh, four dollars for an overnight video here in New Zealand and um, I'd like to watch them a bit more than overnight a couple of days so I wait for it to you know move down to a cheaper or same price but you get it for a longer period but can't wait to see it um, 70903 the Riddler Riddle Race the Riddler Riddle Race yeah Got that right. I just love the look of this set and um, was a must for me. Where's that? I'm getting reflections. I'm not sure. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. Don't know if it's coming off of me or. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I need to. Um, I'm using natural light here and um, I need to get a couple of. LED sticks and I just you know, have trouble getting around and doing stuff uh, but I'll get there eventually and then I'll be able to do my reviews this uh, box has got a little bit of a hole there but not too major but yeah what a fantastic uh, lineup of minifigures just um, phenomenal Kite Man, Calendar Man, Magpie, The Riddler which um, is one of the best looking Riddlers so far and yeah and Batman which seem to get a few Batman in every set you collect them pretty quickly you know I mean the Batman's built up pretty quickly that's what I was meaning yeah, I don't know where that ref what's reflecting there is I can't work it out where it's coming from help <laughs> Ah, 
Um, $40 for uh, Mr. Freeze. Uh, these were 20% off, so... Well, they weren't. One, one item was... I'll tell you about that one when I come to it. Um, so, I think this is possibly one of the better sets of the whole wave. Of the first wave. Um, the Joker's Notorious Low Rider. 70906. Uh, a friend of mine got one of these and built it and she brought it around so uh, I was able to have a play with that. It was uh, very, very cool. I uh, might try and pick up another one to, um, to build and display. Oh, we'll wait and see. Oh, uh, $100 um, for us. I'm sure these were um, 110 but yeah, I'm not sure about that. Some shops they are 110 and others are 100 but great set. Love the Joker. Just uh, these two, you know, Joker and the Harley Quinn figures um, are just great. I'm not sure if you get that Joker again in the second wave but yeah, what a fantastic little minifigure with his tattoos and, uh, yeah, just the whole deal. Okay, so this was the set that was 20% off when I made this lay-by. This is my second Iron Man Detroit Steel Strikes because I built my last one. I just I had to have a look at the car and, yeah, yeah I was very, very happy with it. I don't know why they couldn't have used grey pieces in the, um, along the line there because there is grey, oh here, here, grey pieces are actually included in the set so yeah I don't know why they didn't make those grey, that's just stupid. But yeah, uh, 76077 if I didn't say the set number and uh, yeah. Fantastic. Loving these, uh, the, the, um, the rocket blasts out of the hands. So cool. And it was good of them to do that after they, um, you know, had the trouble with the jumper, the, the minifig spring jump thing. I'm not sure if this will quite be high enough. I'll just have to... So, uh, yeah, this was, uh, these are $60 in New Zealand for us, it's a, not a very dark print on the price tag, but uh, this was 20% off, and I didn't know that, and um, when I was purchasing that, um, someone said, some of the staff, go, yeah, 20%, I said, I didn't know it was on sale, and they go, yeah, 20% off Lego. So I raced back and um, grabbed these three sets and um, lay by them and um, as I left the store I was um, looking at my receipt and thinking hang on I've paid full price for those. So I went back in and said you know what had happened someone said they were 20% off so I made the lay by and um, yeah they honoured that and um, gave it to me at 20% off. So that was uh, very, very nice of them. Another, um, while we're in the warehouse, um, I picked up 60164. Uh, I'm not sure of the name of this. Um, I really should have had a look. And... Uh, I, I like this because of um, the minifig and that's been rescued is out of the uh, ex uh, Ocean Explorer st stuff. Uh, it was a year or two back, I'm not sure. Um, and I, I got the big blue boat and um, I just love that, um, that, that rescue flotation device. I'm not sure what you call it, a lifeboat I suppose. Um, but I thought, what a fantastic little build, you know, the, to make that uh, the windscreen and um, 
yellow and yeah it's just, it's just fantastic I have, have one other seaplane in my city collection which I hope to have all laid out one day so I wanted another seaplane and um, just you know hadn't gotten around to getting one that I'd seen that I liked and um, yeah I just I thought this one was quite cute and and like I say the the, the um, life preserver uh, what do you call it um, lifeboat uh, was just drew me to it I just I just thought that was so cool and uh, yeah wanted it on my sea in my city if I ever get to have one laid out right so now it's toy world and uh, I was in there the other day picking up um, a lay-by which is um, this one Ninjago this was 40% um, off I think felt more like half price but um, no name um, I'll have a go at that I think I might know this one 70594 is our set number and um, I think it's Lighthouse Siege I could be wrong, but um, I didn't get the Air Jitsu Tower, it was um, $400 for us in New Zealand, and uh, we didn't have any in store, so I would have had to go online to get it, and um, it's just, it was more money than I had, and as much as I'd love to have owned it, um, I didn't, and uh, when this came up cheap, you know, 40% uh, 40, 40 off or something, um, I had to have it. And um, even though I collect my Lego and keep it um, boxed, anything that has a light brick in it, I don't know how long these batteries last, but I'm paranoid that they're going to fizz out in the set. So anytime I buy a set that has a light brick in it, which isn't often, I think I've got one other maybe, the um, museum, the city museum, and the helicopter, and that had a light brick. So I built the helicopter to um, have a play with and then remove the batteries. But um, I will be building this, and um, you're doing the same, taking the batteries out. I, I just, you know, if I'm collecting it for an investment, but I, I'd just, you know, I'd hate to buy this and have the batteries fizzed out if it was something I'd brought, so that's the reason why I removed the batteries. And I have no idea how long before I sell it, so it's, um, it's like that. I'm going to run out of space here, guys. Maybe if I put that there, put, cover that, yeah, it's better. better. Are we in the picture? Yes. And the other one that I wanted to get, Ninjago from that, um, there was a couple others, but um, I think I got one other in a lay-by. I picked up um, 70589. Now, I uh, just loved that purple ninja was the draw for this one me um it's a, just a great set it looks fantastic and uh, i don't i didn't get um cole's tread attack thing that was maybe 2011 2012 can't remember i missed out on that one and um thought yeah i've got to have this one especially the purple ninja was just so cool um i don't know what this is called rock raider i it's so hopeless not, you know, you think that we, they print names on Ameri boxes for America, why can't the rest of the world get it? I just don't get it, you know. Why Why does America have to have a, the set name and the brick count, you know, but the rest of the world doesn't have to have it. It just it bothers me. 
majorly. There's something going on with Lego in the US. They just uh, they're just too tight for them, you know. They, they just do them everything. Yeah. I don't know. It could be just how how it operates in the US, you know, sales. They have to have that, you know, on the box. But, yeah, I wish we had set names and brick counts on boxes. Uh, it's just nice to know how many bricks you're getting for what you're paying for, you know. And, yeah, that bothers me, as you may have guessed. So, yeah, yeah, the Rock Raider. Uh, do I do the back? I think I did. But yeah, very cool. There's our um, little ninja. -er. What's his uh, name? Little Nelson. Yeah, very cool. And it was a cool. I remember him in the cartoon. It was quite cool. Quite cool. I definitely remember this. Season 2, I think we first saw that. Um, way back then. And um, then again, for this scene that this set um, pictures, uh, for that episode, that was a great episode. And um, yeah, very cool. Love Ninjago. Love the new stuff for the movies, it's fantastic. Anyhow, I was in there picking up that, paid off my lay-by, and uh, got offered another, um, what have I done with it? It was just here. Got offered another um, Nexo Knight. So, um, I, even though I got this one, I wanted to open it, I didn't. Um, so I grabbed another one of these. And, um, uh, what the heck have I done with it? Because this is the one that I got last time. Oh, I just had it. Oh, here it is. Hiding under a bag. So I picked up one to open and one to put away. I just think he's a cool minifigure and yeah. I don't care if it don't get any, you know. I, I, even though this is investment stuff, you know, I'll, I'll be selling it for what I paid for it, on, you know, on Trade Me and... Uh, I'm not into it to make a lot of money. I just um, it's been fun collecting it, and then you know I'll build some stuff that I want to keep, and um, the rest I'm going to sell. You know, it was supposed to go to my son, as you may know, um, but yeah, sadly he uh, took himself out in a car accident. I sadly missed. Anyhow, when I picked up that lay-by, um, I got some more poly bags. Um, I don't know why, I just, yeah. School holidays, I think they have competitions down at Toy World, and these were just some leftover stuff. So I got a um, Batman in the Phantom Zone, which was a poly bag I didn't have. Number 30522. And uh, I just, it's fantastic. So, sorry, so happy. And uh, he pulled that out and said, would you like this? Uh, what do you think, mate? Yeah, for sure. And I also got uh, 30347. Uh, Fire Chief, possibly. I'm not sure. Do you guys in the US have um, names on the poly bags? I don't know about that one. Maybe you do, you don't. If anyone's in the US and knows that, if they could leave a comment, it'd be nice. So I've got the fire, Batman in the Phantom Zone. And I've got this cool one, which um, I don't have any of these superhero, DC superhero girls sets yet. Um, Really want the Wonder Woman one with the uh, clear motorcycle in it is uh, very cool. But yeah, I was so happy to get this um, little dog um, printed piece on the tail fin of the airplane. I don't. Oh, there it is. I don't know if we'll be able to see it through the bag. 
not sure if that's um, being seen or gosh I need glasses for these little bits so yeah yeah nice nice print on the um, tail fin exclusive to this little poly bag and um, we get a Krypton mesh little I'm not sure what those are anyone knows they could leave me a comment it would be nice um, a little it looks pretty happy for someone that's supposed to be a villain, I take it, and is out to destroy Superman's dog. Super dog? Is that what he's called? I'm not sure. Anyone seen the uh, new Superman set with a dog in it? That's, uh, I thought it was a bit of humour actually. Super dog for the, um, you know, a big one, not the friend size. So that was my haul. And um, while I was in picking up this lay-by um, in Toy World, they had a plastic container on the... Oh, I'm not sure if you guys see my bruise. Yeah, I've smashed myself beautifully with a, a pole straight on there. Boosh, bang. Yeah, not fun. And uh, must have damaged it pretty badly to get a bleed like that under the skin. Anyhow, <laughs> back to Leo, not the war wounds. Um, when I was picking up this lay-by, well that's interesting, i just seen there's a, um, a train bogey track. Uh, you know, the bit that the wheels of a train clip onto is uh, sitting in there. That's, that looks good. Nice. Anyhow, picking up this lay-by, there was a tub of um, Lego bricks on the counter. And there was four sets around it. Two city sets that were identical and two friend sets which were um, part of this, the chairlift um, thing. It's a little, I think there's a little skate rink or a little hockey rink and, and a building. like um, Almost like the... the the chateau at the bottom of the the chairlift, and um, so it was two of those and two city sets. So, I, you know, they said you can enter if you like, and I was like, "Isn't it for the kids?" And they were like, "No, no, there's, there's two groups. There's a, um, you know, above an age group and below an age group for the kids." And yeah, so I qualified for one of them. I guess 475 bricks in this tub because we all know that you can get a lot of bricks into you know a small space like that. So uh, I thought you know I won't I'll have a go, but you know I'll never win this and not not much of a don't win a lot of things. And uh, you try I stay away from gambling and you know lotto and things like that because. It's just dead money, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's just a waste. So yeah, but yeah, I thought I'd enter it and uh, had a go, and got a phone call a couple of days later saying you guessed the closest amount to uh, what was in there, and I was like, no way, awesome. So um, I knew what I was winning, and I um, raced down and picked it up. And I won this awesome set, which I desperately wanted. I saw it um, when pictures first came out. I saw it on Just Too Goods channel, and um, he said it was exclusive. But I've seen this in two stores in Palmerston North, so I don't know how that works. Um, yeah, Toy World have it, and it's at the warehouse. So. Yeah, unless I misheard his video, I must go back and have a look at it. Now, I have no idea what this set's called. Um, Sailboat Rescue, no idea. Set 60168, if I didn't say the set number for you guys. Yeah, I just, I, I liked it. And uh, I don't have a lot of boats for my city. And, um, yeah, the... This is just a great sail, you know, I don't have a sailing boat at, at, of that size and because normally they use this hull and they, you know, have motors and a fishing boat or, um, yeah, I think it's normally a fishing boat. 
from what I can remember. Uh, I've got a couple, of, I think I've got one or two. Oh, I might have um, a, a made of orange one of a speedboat. So I've got got a couple of them. I've got the fishing couple of fishing boats now. A um, couple of speed boats. Um, one that's on the truck, and one that's on the um, four wheel drive with the the fifth wheel and the on the truck, on the four wheel on the four times four. So yeah, um, you know, any opportunity to get another boat, I was um, waiting for this one to be on special or, you know, something like that, but I um, I ended up winning it, so luck be my, on my side this time, so that was awesome, so I picked up that for free, normally $50 in New Zealand, I think that's it's worth. Could be 40, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's 50, but yeah, uh, and also got another couple of poly bags when I picked that up, um, got asked if I wanted these, so of course I'm going to say yes, I got a another U-Wing fighter, um, set 30496, which uh, is very cool. I did get one already, which is in one of my hauls, which came in the uh, a bag. Um, sorry, a, a kids magazine, K Zone or something like that. I'm not sure what one it was. I can never remember the name of the the um, the, the little kids mag that we sometimes get poly bags in. And I got another. Batman in the Phantom Zone, so I'll be building one and putting one in my polybag collection. So yeah, oh, oh, sorry, missing, missing one. Sorry Ninjago, you're gonna get hidden away. Oh, no room, no room. We'll, uh, we'll get a couple in there, like that. At least you can see the purple ninja. So that was good. So I got two, four, five poly bags. Woohoo! That week. Uh, very happy with that. Yeah, so uh, I hope you like my haul. And like I say, I should have done this in two films, but. Camera trouble, not camera troubles, computer troubles, and uh, yeah. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked that. Give us a comment and a, a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, I do need to, there's a couple of people that have subscribed that I haven't subscribed back to, but uh, like I say, I'm having a bit of trouble with a computer, and I just I haven't been too into it. And uh, I think I'm couple of last weeks I've uh, I've been a bit slack and I haven't replied to anyone and um, and I had trouble uploading my last video and I I made two of them and one of them I said something stupid so I recorded it again and um, I I'm too scared to go and see if I uploaded the right one or not but uh, yeah I must do it because there'll be people I need to reply to and you know, just, just, you know, do the, do the Lego love thing, so yeah, thanks for um, watching guys and listening to me ramble on yet again, and uh, excuse my snivels, it's um, winter in New Zealand, it's been quite mild, but yeah, I went out BMXing about 11.30 at night the other day, just to run down to the supermarket, but um, it's across town, and you know, it's not that far, but it's a couple of k's, and uh, I think it was just too cold, and I've uh, gone and given myself a bit of a chest infection. But hey, my partner was away at visiting her mother out of, at Balls, which is um, a town out of the next town along from us, sort of going up the number one highway. And uh, she was staying out there, so I had no car, and. Um, as she had it, and I thought I'd take the BMX out for a 
supermarket shop and yeah got myself a bit of a chest infection well it's not an infection yet but it's uh it's a bit of a snivelly nose and croaky voice so i apologize for that and uh yes thanks for watching my haul guys and i love you heaps keep loving lego and i'll catch you next time see ya